I'm Dr. Terry Dinkovich. I'm a postdoctoral researcher at Carnegie Mellon University. So the Drinkable book is both a tool for providing clean water with its pages as water filters and also a way to educate the people who would use it about the value of clean water. So a lot of the people who don't have access to clean drinking water are typically very poor and cannot afford technology to clean water. So we knew, or I should say I knew, <laughs> that the, one of the ways to solve this problem was to present, um, to try to do something that really, really affordable. And so what we've looked at is a, a piece of a filter paper that is um, impregnated with nanoparticles, silver and copper we've looked at to see if that can actually work as a water filter. And we've looked at coliform bacteria in general, which um, is usually called total coliform or fecal coliform, and that's a class of organisms that are, a lot, well, E. coli falls in that family, and we've seen high levels of reduction of those bacteria as well. Um, and also I've uh, looked at in the lab um, Enterococci faecalis, and it seems to show some reduction of that bacteria in addition. The, the book has another function. You can see, like many books, it's printed with text, and the text itself is an educational story about why you need to clean the water, why people are getting sick, and like what you know, sort of diseases you can get um, from this, and if you have various symptoms, such as like diarrhea, vomiting, etc., you should go see a doctor. And it's a lot of education about water like poor water quality and it's written in English on the top page part of the page and then the bottom part it's in the local language where the book would be distributed so it's going to hopefully achieve educational goals as well as health related goals well actually why I was at the conference was to present our field trials in South Africa Ghana Bangladesh um, and also my partners uh, the NGO water is life have tested this in uh, Kenya and Haiti as well. Um, basically, we saw a whole lot of nothing in <laughs> filtered water. Um, it's, there is basically, I think, over 90% of the samples had zero bacteria on the petri dishes. And the total uh, bacterial reduction, which just means the difference between your influent water and your affluent water after it's filtered, was greater than 99%. So it was very effective in the field, and, um, and, and this is true across the, whole, the three countries. Well, we have had some very positive comments. A lot of people were like, can I get this now? Where can I buy it? And some people even said like, oh, well, this is, this is actually one of my favorite quotes. Uh, if my husband doesn't let me buy this, I will write poetry to earn money to buy it. <laughs> Yeah, and this, this was from a woman in Bangladesh. Um, uh, so we had a lot of really positive feedback. One of the next steps is to have a few pilot communities try this out for like a month, a couple months, and see, first of all, if it's working perfectly when other people use it, not just scientists. <laughs> and also, like, if there is indicators that it is improving people's health. That's why I'm interested in bringing this to the developing world. I, and of course, uh, it's, since it can be so affordable, I, I really think that, that it, it could be a real game changer.